What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Justin Arm. Hope you all are feeling great wherever you may be. Today's video is about my focus for my channel for the remaining of 2021. Uh, I've been giving some reflection to this lately. I'm hoping that this will help me as well as my subscribers understand what my intentions are for this channel. And if you're like me and you're still a newbie, you're still growing on YouTube, hopefully this will help you out. So I've created five goals for myself that I will focus on for the remaining of 2021. Goal number one, staying consistent. What I mean by staying consistent is posting on a regular schedule. Now I'm not telling you that you have to upload 15 videos a week, but if you know that you can only upload once every two weeks or once a month, make sure that you let your targeted audience know that up front. And this is something that I dropped the ball on originally because I never let my audience know when I was gonna post. And sometimes when I put it out there that I'm gonna post a certain day, it may not happen. So I'm trying to take charge of this situation and make sure that I do something that's realistic to my schedule because I am a father, I am a husband, and I have three children, and I have a whole lot of other things going on in my life uh, besides YouTube, but I'm trying to get to the point where I can make YouTube my main focus, where I can go full-time with YouTube, and that is what I'm shooting for. Staying consistent can also mean brainstorming new ideas. When you're not recording your videos or uploading your videos, you could basically just be, you know, jotting down new ideas. And sometimes new ideas may come early in the morning. Sometimes they may come at night. It may be when you're taking your morning jog or your walk. So I think it's a good idea to make sure that you focus on that. Make sure you have your notepad. Make sure you have your cell phone. Anything that's nearby to help you take notes on those ideas as they come. Goal two, creating a community. Now, I haven't really done this as well as I needed to. So this year, I wanted to focus on it for the remaining of this year, being able to build a community. And what I mean by that is that I want to be able to engage with my audience. I want to be able to engage with you all, answer questions, you know, get on, do some group chats. So I'm trying to start all of these different um, groups to help out with that. I have my Discord, which you'll see a link for that below. And then I also created a Facebook group, which I haven't even invited anybody yet, but I have a Facebook group that is dedicated for my music. Uh, it's called Just a Normians, just like Just a Norm, Just a Normians. I'm hoping that you all could join it and that we can share and learn about each other and help each other grow, because that's what it's about. I want my channel to be focused on a community. Goal three, promoting myself more through my content. I know that I have a certain level of expertise in certain areas of music. I'm not an expert in everything, but I do have some expertise. This is the reason why I create videos because I feel that whatever I learn, I need to share it with the world. If you are good at something, then you need to let the world know that you're good at it and that you are there to help them become better at it. It's all about becoming an authority in a topic and that's what i'm focusing on is becoming an authority on a specific topic goal four is something that i've been battling with and every youtuber has battled with this at one point in time is dealing with your optimization of your videos your click-through rate or ctr as they call it and your retention so the retention in case you don't know is how long someone watches your video for. My videos have been all over the place. Some of them have only gotten 15 seconds of watch time, maybe, or 17 seconds of watch time. And some of them have gotten maybe two, three, four minutes, uh, maybe 35% of the video, 40% of the video. I'm trying to like hone down on this and get this to a point where I can do some experimentation. And the way you do this is change up your thumbnails. You know, try something new. Once you experiment with your thumbnails and you find one that works the best for you and seems to get the most click-through rate, then stay with that thumbnail. You might have to change it or alter it for every video that you put out, but at least you have some type of template that you can work off of. So with my retention, I started my five tips for the gig and musician, and on those particular video series, I tried to include more extreme editing into the process, which means I'm doing some little skits that I've added in. I'm trying to add in a little bit more special effects, more text, just to try to draw more attention and keep my viewer engaged more. 
to help with retention, find creative ways that can help your viewers stay engaged with your video. Now you might have to think outside the box on this one. You might have to do something that you normally wouldn't feel comfortable doing. Whatever it is, just make sure that it's something that agrees with you personally. And the reason why I say that is because I think it's more important that the viewer is engaged with the content, but I think that they should be attracted to the personality of the person that is presenting the content. I want people to know me and I want them to end up liking me for my personality. Now, everybody may not like me, I know that, but I want them to like me for my personality and I want the content that I offer to be just an extra icing on top of the cake. Goal five, study those YouTubers that you admire that are within your niche. This can help you create new ideas. This can help you brainstorm better. So that way, when you come to your channel, you will have that inspiration that you need to keep going. Because let's face it, sometimes you're not going to feel like doing anything. I feel that way sometimes all the time. Uh, and it's not because I don't have the passion about doing the channel or a passion about recording or putting out content. It's that I have so many other things taken over my life that have to be done um, that my creative portion sometimes gets put way to the back of my brain. So when I'm feeling like that, I'll go and I'll just do some research. I'll go look at other videos within my music area or within understanding YouTube algorithm or optimization. I'll look at all type of sorts of videos to help me further my education. So that way when I get ready to record, I'm more focused and I'm intentional on what I want to do for that particular video. All right, these are the five goals that I have set for myself for the rest of 2021. And I'm hoping that you are able to relate with the goals and hopefully it helps you on your journey and your channel. If you have any questions or feedback, definitely leave them in the comments below. If you enjoy content like this and you definitely love music, definitely hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell so that way that you're notified every time that I post a video. Love you all. Be blessed. Peace.